Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 28th of 2024 is titled Sundance. So what do we see here? Well, here we'll see a video clip showing the sun and we'll put that on repeat so that you can watch it while I discuss it a little bit. Now this is from 2012. That was when the sun was near its last peak of its solar activity, which is it is approaching again now. That peak happens about every 11 years. It's not perfect, perfectly 11, but around 11 years on average, sometimes a little shorter, sometimes a little bit longer. And during the peak of activity, the sun is more active. It's going to have more sunspots and more solar flares and solar prominences, things that we see here. Now, this is an image from the Solar Dynamics Observatory, where we see a prominence really kind of making a dramatic uh, view, as we can see it kind of looping over. Now, the loop is caused by magnetic fields on the sun. The sun has a very strong magnetic field and it gets all twisted and tangled up because of the way the sun rotates. So the sun rotates in what we call a differential rotation, meaning that it doesn't take the same amount of time for it to rotate at the poles as it does at the equator. And in fact, it rotates faster at the equator by a few days it may take it about 25 ish days to rotate once at the equator and will take several days longer than that 20 28, 29 or 30 days as you get closer to the pole. And that's because the sun is not a solid body like Earth, so it can rotate in that manner. Well, it's thought that the, that kind of helps tangle up the sun's magnetic field as the magnetic field lines get dragged around with the sun's rotation. And as they do that, then they kind of twist and pop up. So little bits of them will pop up here. And that's kind of what we're seeing as this plasma loops or over and follows around those magnetic field lines. Now the plasma on the sun is ionized gases. Those are gases that have had electrons ripped off of them. And ionized gases electrically charged will follow along magnetic field lines. So that kind of gives us this view that we're able to see here as the sun is active. Now, this is the kind of thing that we see from time to time, and especially more as the sun gets more and more active. So as we're reaching an active surface now, we're going to see far more things like this solar prominence and more sunspots and also, of course, solar flare activity that can affect us here on Earth and give us some of the really nice aurora that we have seen in the past. So here today we get to see one example of this from 12 years ago, but the kind of thing that is happening on the sun as we speak right now. So that was our picture of the day for July 28th of 2024. It was titled Sundance. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Milky Way Mound. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.